Hi, Sandy Burgess. How are you? I'm going to talk about goals and goal setting. Today is actually January the 21st. I have my gym clothes on to go to the gym. It takes me clear to about the 21st or longer to get started on those goals, even though we love to set goals for ourselves. And it's very, very important. And January 1st, we think we're going to do it, but it's about the end of January into the 1st of February that we actually get started and take that seriously. So let's talk about goals for a second. And I've trained in network marketing for 40 plus years. And I love it, but I've trained a lot on goal setting and I've kind of copied all of the goal setting kind of talks and speeches and guidelines out there with the SMART goals, you know, and I've written some notes down here. Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, time-bound. We've all heard that. But for some reason, we're all not accomplishing our goals because I think that's a little bit too much busy work there. So I'm going to break it down into what I refer to as WISE goals, W-I-S-E. W, Y-driven, I, important to you, S, the steps you need to take, and E, the energy to make it a habit. Okay, so let's break that down a little bit. The W, why driven, oh my gosh, I heard Tony Robbins speak uh, years ago, and I actually was with him speaking, and uh, he talked about putting yourself out there in a rocking chair, and at the end of your life, looking back and saying, gosh, why didn't I do this? And do those things so that you don't get to that point in your life and not have achieved them. Uh, so that's important. So why driven? We've all heard phrases like the why needs to make you fly. The why needs to make you cry, right? We've heard these things over and over again. But really the why has to be, uh, and understand that if you know what your why is, the how-tos will come later. But your why has to be so strong in your internal passion and desire to succeed that it gets you up and it keeps you going. Okay, and that's pretty much how you achieve goals is to absolutely know that why and visualize yourself succeeding and visualize your why and look at pictures of your why and write things down in your journal so that your why becomes very motivating to you on a daily basis. The I, what's important to you? It has to be uplifting. It has to be positive. We are here on this earth. My true belief and core values are that you're here to succeed. You're here to be happy. The Lord wants you to be happy. So it's got to be important to you and it's got to be uplifting. Instead of getting up and saying, gosh, I've got to lose weight, which I've done for years, that's a real negative, but I want to gain health. I want to gain energy. I want to gain vibrancy. I want to gain uh, a, a more positive perspective. I want to gain fitness. You know, all those things are positive. And visualizing yourself seeing success, being successful in network marketing, seeing yourself achieving those rank advancements and goals that you've got. But you've got to uh, find things that are important to you in a positive, positive way. S. What are the steps that you need to take to achieve those goals? What daily disciplines, as Jim Rohn always talks about, those daily things that you've got to do. In network marketing, okay, they are making three-way calls with your sponsor. They're writing your list. They're sampling. They're following up. There are those daily disciplines that get you or the steps that you take to get you to achieve that goal. So what are those steps? And then E, the energy behind everything to make it habitual, make it a habit, make it a ritual. And I'm going to relate this for a second to uh, learning to play the piano because I'm a pianist, cellist, vocal uh, teacher, operatic singer. And part of my piano playing as I was growing up was going over and over and over again on passages to get them into my fingers so that it was second nature. It's interesting, I played Autumn Leaves back in sixth grade. Can you believe that, guys? That was so long ago. But I had to memorize that, and this was, you know, way, way, way back then. 
and I'd worked so hard on it that to this day, I can be blindfolded and gagged and sit and play Autumn Leaves for you because it's in my fingers. It's muscle memory, okay? That is where it becomes a habit. So once you start doing these things, they tell you if you do things long enough, 21 days, it becomes a habit. If you just get up and, and you get to the gym and you uh, do eat, start eating better and doing those things, they become a habit. All right. And if you immediately say, I'm going to make five calls today and it becomes a habit. So every day you're making those five calls. Every day you're calling your sponsor and connecting with them. Every day you're plugged in. Every week you're plugged into the national calls or the webinars or the events. All of that is the energy behind what you're doing because it's a habit now. So go 21 days doing those things, those simple steps, okay, doing things that are important to you and knowing your why you're doing them and you will achieve those goals. Let's all have a fabulous day, week, month, year, life. Thanks, guys.